Hi, this is Arthur, and this is a summary of the Archon Quests in Chapter 1, Acts 1 through 4, released in Genshin Impact versions 1.0 to 1.4. The Traveler and Paimon reach Liwei during the Rite of Dissension. Once a year, Rex Lapis, also known as Morax, Prime of the Adepti, the Geo Archon, the God of Liwei, and the God of Contracts, descends upon the land and gives guidance for the upcoming year. The Traveler attends the Rite, and when Rex Lapis descends, he's dead, seemingly killed. The authorities secure the area, the Traveler escapes. Along the way, Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers, jumps in and helps. Child gives them a sigil of permission that supposedly protects them from the Adepti and directs them to Juyun Karst, home of the Adepti. A side note, Rex Lapis and the rest of the Adepti are mythical godlike beings that founded Liwei. Also, Adepti is plural and Adeptus is singular. Fearing suspicion for Rex Lapis' death, the Traveler heads to Juyun Karst to meet the Adepti in hopes of clearing his name. They head over and meet an Adepti named Mooncarver who recognizes the sigil. They tell Mooncarver of Rex Lapis' death, and he cannot believe it. Mooncarver then sends him to find the other Adepti. The Traveler then meets with Xiao, Moonshaper, and Cloud Retainer and tells them what happened. The Traveler then meets with Child, who tells him the Qixing have locked away the Exuvia. A side note, the Qixing are the group of ruling humans that govern and leeway under Rex Lapis, and the Exuvia refers to Rex Lapis' body. Child then introduces them to a man named Zhang Li. Zhang Li is an employee of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor and objects to how the Qixing have hidden away the Exuvia without observing the rites of parting, which seem to be funeral rites. The Traveler helps Zhang Li prepare for the rites by acquiring various items and hiring workers. Afterwards, Zhang Li thanks them by buying them a meal when Gan Yu, secretary of the Qixing, shows up and invites him to meet Ning Guang, a top member of the Qixing. The Traveler meets Ning Guang and she tells them about the Archon War, a war between gods that ended about 2,000 years ago. Seven gods rose up in the aftermath and began the current era of the seven archons and seven nations. In the waters off Liwei lie gods imprisoned by Rex Lapis during the war. Ningguan then says that she hid the Exuvia away to prevent Fatui meddling. The Qixing also allowed Zhang Li to perform his rites so that they could buy time and consolidate power in Liwei. The Traveler then looks at Ningguan's wall that suggests Fatui activity somewhere. The Traveler decides to go investigate and finds a bunch of Adepti sigils. The Traveler then goes to gather some more things with Zhang Li for the rites of parting before returning to Liwei Harbor. When they get there, they learn that the Adeptai do not recognize the Qixing's authority over Liwei and will possibly attack the city since the Qixing have taken power. The Traveler suspects that all this chaos was orchestrated by Child. The Traveler then heads to the Golden House where they suspect Child is gone and where the Exuvia is hidden. Once there, they find Child who seeks to take the Geonosis from the Exuvia. However, the Gnosis is not there. Child suspects that the body is a fake and that Rex Lapis still lives. Using the power of a bunch of sigils, Child awakens Osile, a god defeated by Rex Lapis during the Archon War, in hopes that Rex Lapis will show himself and defend the city. The Traveler then heads to the Jade Chamber, where the Qixing and the Adepti have united to fight Osile and an army of Fatui. Using the combined might of the Qixing, the Adepti, and the Traveler, they defeat Osile and imprison him again. The Qixing then negotiate with the Adepti and agree to leave Li Wei in the hands of the Qixing. The Traveler then goes to meet Zhang Li, who is talking to Child and La Signora. Turns out, Zhang Li is Rex Lapis. Zhang Li formed an agreement with the Tsaritsa, the Cryo Archon, and it organized everything that has happened as a test of the people of Liwei in exchange for his Geonosis. Zhang Li's goal was to relinquish his role as God of Liwei, but was unsure if the people were ready. Now that Liwei has persevered, Zhang Li can comfortably retire and hands his Gnosis over to La Signora. The Qixing later announced that Rex Lapis has not been assassinated, but simply passed away. The Qixing now assume all power in Liwei as humans rule Liwei instead of the gods. The Traveler then meets with Zhang Li who directs them to Inazuma, another of the seven nations ruled by Baal, the Electro Archon. Sometime later, the Traveler heads to Mondstadt and meets Dainsleif. The Traveler hires Dainsleif on a commission to hunt an Abyss Herald, but to no success. Sometime later, the Traveler is commissioned by the Adventurer's Guild to resolve a conflict between Treasure Hoarders and the Abyss Order in some ruins. They head over and find an upside-down statue of the Seven and do battle with an Abyss Herald. The Herald escapes and the Traveler leaves, only to meet Dainsleif again. Together, they track the Abyss Herald. Along the way, the Traveler reveals how he came to this world. Hundreds of years ago, the Traveler and his sibling came to this world via meteorites. The Traveler's sibling woke up first and it is unclear just how long it was before the Traveler woke up. When the Traveler woke up, he saw Kanria on fire and his sibling told him that they must leave. When they attempted to leave, they ran into the Sustainer of Heavenly Principles who separated them and sent the Traveler to Mondstadt. Dainsleif confirms that the city on fire was Conria, and what the Traveler witnessed was Conria's destruction which occurred 500 years ago. Dainsleif goes on to say that Conria was a powerful human nation without a god and was later destroyed by the gods. As they continue to investigate, they learn that the Abyss Order is looking for the Eye of the First Rune Guard in order to create a mechanized being capable of destroying Celestia. They then head to Mondstadt and learn that the Abyss Order is in Wolvendom. 
They head over and fight off an Abyss Herald trying to capture Boreas. They then head to Storm Terror's lair where they find the first Ruin Guard and its Eye. Dainsleaf takes possession of the Eye in order to hide it and they head off to destroy the upside down statue of the Seven from before since that is also necessary to create the mechanized being. They head back to the statue and fight the Abyss Herald again. Before they can defeat the Herald, the Traveler's sibling shows up and saves the Herald. We then learn a bunch of stuff. We learn that the Traveler's sibling is leading the Abyss Order and seeks to destroy Celestia and the gods. Dainsleaf is actually from Kanria and was cursed with immortality for failing to prevent its destruction. We also learn that the monsters of the Abyss Order are transformed former citizens of Kanria. The Abyss Herald then creates a portal and leaves with the sibling. Dainsleaf also jumps into the portal, leaving the Traveler alone with Paimon. And that is the end of these quests in this video. If you like what you've seen here, please like, comment, and subscribe.